Well, after a, a few weeks of playing, I am now finally finished Pokemon Japanese Red. Well, at least almost finished, I should mean to say. I got one more thing to take care of, and of course, that's the Elite Four. Wow, this game went by much, much, much more quicker than Japanese Green did. That took over a year to finish. This one took less than a month. So anyways, try and beat for the first time ever. So the team, largely the reason why the game was so quick is because I largely didn't change the team, whereas it changed a lot in Japanese Green. So anyways, first up, Machoke. Just like in Leaf, um, Japanese Green where I had um, not fully evolution because it tr not, um, can't trade and all, and this is not randomized. But yeah, Machop of course, has, I've written down the moveset right here, Submission, Earthquake, Double Edge, and Rock Slide. I was thinking about Fire Blast, but... Eh, don't think I'm gonna bother with that, unfortunately. Especially since the Elite Four doesn't have really anything that weak to fire. And Radicate! Interesting choice. I've used Radicate before in the Elite Four, if you don't remember that. And this is an interesting strategy. This thing is crazy special utility. Super Fang, Blizzard, Thunder, and Bubble Beam. Since it's not gonna do a lot of damage with special, hey! Go with Super Fang, do half damage, and then hopefully finish off with a special move. That's the strategy I'll go with. And then, it was Jolteon. As just like a Japanese Green did one of the evolutions. Thunderbolt, Body Slam, Double Kick, and Pin Missile. And then, of course, Ekans right here. A lot of attack, too. As it had Skull Bash, Glare, Acid, and Dig. And of course, this is Exeggutor, the last catch I caught in the series, too. At least in terms of using. Used quite a lot for Elite Four games, if I remember correctly. Solar Beam, Leech Seed, Toxic, and Psychic. So I'm going to abuse, hopefully, the Toxic Leech Seed strategy. Since I is broken in this game. And then finally, Fero. I believe the first catch in the series, too. Because Fero is another Pokemon I use very, very, very often. And of course, all attacks, well, except for one. Fly, Mirror Move, Sky Attack. And Swift. Couldn't think of anything to replace for Mirror Moves since I'm probably not going to use it at all, but oh well. What can you do? Maybe I can have its juice for it. I guess we'll see. As who did I have front? I tried Machop up front. I mean, Machoke up front. As here we go, Vlorai. So, of course, you're probably wondering if any of you don't remember, back in Gen 1, the game was really broken with like move sets, and one of the broken things was um, Leech Seed and Toxic. If you use Toxic, and then use Leech, I think it's you, or I think it's got to be a specific order, it'll add up on each other, so effectively, will do more damage each time one happens. So you can knock someone out just by doing Toxic and Leech Seed. It's really, really broken, I must say. So, some missions start off. And, of course, oh good, head to speed. I mean, went second. That's going to do a lot to Machoke, though. Yep, that did a good amount of damage right back. I bet she's gonna send out slow, bro. So, hey, why not give Radicate a go? Oh, Cloyster. Okay, well, you're high defense and all, so I know a simple trick for that. Super Fang, half damage. I sound like Clamp, maybe. Yeah, it's Clamp, which actually is not good because I think. Oh wait, no, it must be Spike Cannon then. Just hit multiple times. Oh my God. There we went for four times. Come on, don't hit a fifth time. Alright, then go with Thunder. Yeah. Did a good amount of damage. There you go. I was about to say, Radicate in this game actually did a solid amount of damage with those moves. I was actually really surprised. Now what? There's the Slowbro that I thought you were going to send out first. Well, Super Fang again. Yeah, half damage like I said every time. That was Growl. <laughs> What was the point of that? Since Red King can't do any other special physical moves, and its only physical move always does. Of course, had to mess. Oh, great. Amnesia. Okay, well. That is going to be a problem, actually. That is going to be a, quite a problem. So I better hit hard with Jolteon. Water Gun, that's not going to do anything. Actually, it's going to do a lot be more because of Amnesia, because that affects off special. Why do I got a bad feeling it actually might survive? Oh, good, it didn't. For a minute there, I was like afraid, oh shit, it actually might survive. Alright, Jinx, go with Bison. I should have done Thunderbolts and probably would have done more damage. That did a good amount of damage still. Wait, I don't know exactly what it did. I'm trying to think, it didn't look like Pound. I can't, 
Like, I can't think of, like, takedown, but if it was takedown, it should have done recoil. I have no idea. Alright, last up, Lapras. I was actually thinking of using Lapras on the team, but ended up not being the case, sadly. Oh, my god. Oh, it was a crit! No wonder you went down! Holy crap! Wow! If it wasn't for the crit, it might not have been enough, because Lapras is pretty tanky. Well, Lorelei, easy to take down. Bruno next. Uh, per no, um, Executor up front. Trying to beat Japanese Red for the first time. I'm trying to do all the Japanese Red, Green, Blue games. The original games that came out, remember, last May, last year, I did Japanese Green. And, of course, I don't even know how I got Japanese Red. I never looked up for it. Then one, like, a few months ago, I was looking for my games and saw what to play. And I found it on there. I don't know where it came from because I don't ever remember to download it. And, of course, I do not have Japanese Blue Japanese blue because I never went to try it yet. But sometime in the future, I'm definitely going to try and go for it. And try and play these. Let me finish them up. Ah, that was ro Rock Slide. No, wait. Was it Rock? No, I can't remember. I think it might have been Rock Fro. Because Rock Slide has like a, um, has a sound effect of like collecting coins in Mario. And it did not show up there. Hit my chan? Or should I say Dodo with, um, um, Togi Kiss behind it? I can't remember where exactly I heard that joke from, but I saw it on one Pokétuber years ago. It's so funny. Of course, one shot. Come on, Bruno, provide a challenge. Ouch, when Hitmon, I mean, um, Zegator's faster than Hitmonlee. I didn't expect that. So that's the is not that fast. And, of course, another one-shot. Machamp, and... I think it was another Onyx. Yep, there's the other Onyx. Up. Well, enjoy the one-shot. Unless you somehow miss. That was... No, I think that was Sharpen. I don't think that was Harden. But either way, it doesn't matter. And if it was Harden, guess what? Doesn't help against special moves, buddy! So that was a waste. And then, of course, Machamp, which, of course, I couldn't have since you can't do trades. Evolutions on the emulator that I know of so far. And, of course, didn't randomize the game. Wow. Wow. I think I actually swept him completely. I don't think... I think everyone got one-shotted. Wow. That's just rotten luck. Ooh, this will be funny. And she has one, too. Take on Agatha now. Now this will be really funny. How about I beat you, Agatha, at your own game? How about beating Poison with Poison? And remember, back then, no abilities, so Gengar here is weak to dig. Ah, shit, got the Confuse Rail first. That's going to be a problem. Don't hit yourself, don't hit yourself. Damn it! Fucking had to hit yourself. Okay, Nightshade, 56 damage. Gonna take like three more hits as long as you don't hit yourself with confusion. Come on. Yes. Got rid of confused, I think. There we go. There we go. Of course, one shot. And guess what? If you sound gold bat, which I have a funny feeling you're going to. Yep! I have a feeling too. I saw the, um. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Goy. Because that's, um, Go. Which I used for Sugoi, and I know Golbat's name is the same in Japanese. So I knew it from off the top of my head. I was pretty sure that is what I thought it was. Oh, that's right. You don't have rocks. Oh, that's right. I didn't teach you Rock Slide. I taught taught the Mod Champ, the Mod Choke, when I was thinking about teaching it to you. Well, let's paralyze you. Nest, of course, and of course, Confuse Ray. Damn it! Come on! Come on, Arbok! Stop hitting yourself. What was the point of doing Haze? Alright, so that's not going to work. Well, got good old Skull Bash. Setting up. There we go. Wow, that did nothing. Oh my god. Alright, we're going to have to switch out then. Alright, Radicate out then. That, I believe, was Wing Attack. Thunder? Ooh. Watch, it probably won't be enough. Oh, good it was. Oh, it was a crit again! Nice! Because remember, back then, criti um, critical hit based upon speed, so fast Pokemon have almost a guaranteed chance to get a crit. And so far, Radicate's showing up in that regard. 
it was most likely doing a ghost type move. Because remember back then, even though they were supposed to be super effective, there was a bug in the game that causes ghost type moves and not to be un not hurt psychic types, even though they're supposed to be. Because all the guides say they are supposed to be super effective against it. Some of that they screwed up in the game. As you get to work out the 59. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, sucks! I couldn't do Arbok against Arbok, but guess what? My Machoke has Earthquake. Oh, 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 you paralyzed Machoke. Damn it. But guess what? Bye bye. <laughs> All that's left is your last Gengar. Yep. How much you want to bet? I, wait, no, you could have done Confuse Ray. But I bet you didn't. And bye bye again. Yeah. Pretty sure Machok has more attack than Ekans. I mean, Arbok. Let's see about that. 120? Oh, significant more, significantly more. Heal up a bit. And now he's going to start with Gyarados, so... So now... No, give Jolteon a go. The only one that has not even had a chance yet so far is Firo. Which I'm actually surprised because I thought Firo was going to be OP around here. But so far, not the case. Yep, here we go. This game's going by really quickly, too. Gyarados. Alright. Oh, I'm going to feel bad for Gyarados there, but get that Thunderbolt. Ooh, that hurts. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Good thing it wasn't no crit, I would have felt bad. Key, no. Switch out for Dragon Dragonair. You hopefully I can take it on my Blizzard. Hopefully. Come on. Yes! Oh, it was a crit, that's why, most likely. I highly doubt Radicate could have one-shot a Dragonair with Blizzard. That would have been probably too much chance. Alright, try again this time, Super Fang. Dragon Rage, that only gonna do 50 damage. Oh, wait, wait a minute, is that... Okay, that did 40 exactly. That has to be Dragon Rage. The only Dragon type move back then. Alright, Blizzard again. For a minute, I was thinking maybe Fire Spin, but I don't think Dragonair can learn Fire Spin. Alright, 59. Aerodactyl now. Okay, well. Thunder hopefully will be enough. No, yeah, you do have Thunder. That is Takedown, if I'm correct. Yep, I remember that text all the time from playing my Japanese Black, White, Black, Two, White team. Where I would call a Lily Pup and have it have takedown for a while. So I knew it off the top of my head that was takedown. That was wing attack. Oh my god. Well, you did your best, right, Kate? And that was the first time anyone got taken down in this game, if I'm correct. Can't do Firo, not going to be strong enough. Uh, not really going to be good enough either. Alright, then. Up. Alright, then Jolteon back out, you go. Outsped for the Thunderbolt. Got to say, though, Rackate with my strategy was pretty damn good. Got the 59. And, of course, last up is that Dragonite. Well, I think it's time for me to do the Toxic Leech Siege strategy. Oh, boy, here we go, Hyper Beam. Ouch, that's going to be a hard hit. You better hold on, Executor. Yes. All right. But remember, back then, too, if Hyper Beam one shot, no recharge. So, of course, got to re recharge. And there's the Leech Seed. Oh, I did Leech Seed first, then Toxic. Uh-oh, I hope I didn't screw it up. I think that's the order I did throughout the entire game. That was Psychic Away. Oh, God, here we go. Another Hyper Beam. I think it's going to be close, but you should survive as long as it's not a crit or something. Yes, held on. There's Toxic, and then there's the Leech Seed. Yeah, look at that. that I'm pretty sure it's adding up. Well, hopefully we'll see this next turn, how much it adds up. Yep, free turn. Poison. Yep. Yeah, look at all that HP got back. That was incredible. And Lance beaten. Wow, it's not even 15 minutes into the video. I'm almost done the game. Incredible. Wait, no, that's the TMs. Didn't mean to do that. Alright. The final healing up. You know what, Firo? I'm going to give you a chance. You have not been able to do anything in this game. You literally have not battled once. You did not do anything here yet. Well, I would figure you're going to be like the main MVP candidate, but right now you've been nothing. 
absolutely ineffective, but now here's your chance for the final battle of this game against Adam. Adamum, I think the, um, how it in Katakana, or Hirogana. Yeah, here we go. Get you out of course. Meet Firo. All right. Go set that sky attack. How much you want to bet? I think it might have done mirror move or missed or something. And one shot. And that was a crit too. Let's keep you out there, Firo. Let's see. Got feeling electric. Al Alakaz oh, okay, Alakazam. Well, here we go. Start set up. Barrier or light screen to reflect. Could be either one of them. And shit held on. Probably screwed up with a move you were trying to do. Alright, here we go. Swift hopefully be enough with that little HP left. Yep. And it was a crit too! Two crits from Fira, alright! Man, Fira letting out its anger after not being used this time. Oh god. Oh, well, definitely switch out. Even though you don't have a rock type move, I'm pretty sure, but not taking on risk. Hey, Radicate, how about you go out there? Quad weakness with no special, you should definitely one shot. I think it could have Fissure, which could be a problem since it's two levels higher. But I think I'm faster. I think if you're faster, you can, you're can you immune to it. Bubble Beam. Ouch! When you came in one shot, that did Leer. I don't know what the point of doing Leer was. And just like that, half his team beat. Now what? Okay, Gyarados. Okay, well. Time for a Thunder. Let's see how low Radicate Special could take you down. Almost one-shotted. There's Dragon Rage. Of course, they ain't gonna do shit. And you know what else, too? I think Blizzard's super effective against you back then. Can't do Super Fang, they'll be shit, and Bubble Beam probably wouldn't do enough. And I want to save the PP for, um, Thunder. Alright, two left. Probably Arcanine. Yep, I called it. Alright. Here we go with the Super Fang. Half damage. That was takedown again. So, thank you. Oh my god, I did a lot! And oh, Radicate just held on! Woo! Didn't think it was going to be enough there. And there we go, hopefully. Oh, Radicate. Oh, goodness, you have another chance. Oh, boy. And if it did hit, it might have knocked both of them out. Look at this guy's Radicate just wrecking. And all that's left is Venusaur now. So could Radicate actually do it? I have to survive a turn, though. It might need... Oh, God, here we go, Solar Beam. Well, you're going to hit first. Let's see if you can maybe freeze. And, of course, Radicate, you had to miss for the epic fail. Seriously? You had the miss. All right, then. Then let's go give Radicate... I mean, Arbok a go. Dig. I have no idea what it was doing. It's doing Solar... Oh, it's doing Solar Beam. A perfect time to do Dig, then, since I can miss now. Mm. There we go. That was, oh, was super effective, I think. Or a crit, either way, it doesn't matter. And with that, I just beat Red for the first time ever, and that game's been out for almost 24 and a half years. One of the original games, and now I've beaten both of them. All I need left to beat is Japanese Blue. And of course, the, let's see, the other games I have not beat, besides Switch and LGP, since I'm not including them, since I'm not playing them anytime soon, is X, which I did beat as a roleplay, though. Alpha Sapphire is the only game left of the group besides Japanese Blue I never beat as anything. Me or roleplay. Then there's Moon. Beat, but as a roleplay. And then Ultra Sun, which I haven't beaten, but only as a roleplay. So Japanese Bread. You know, Japanese Blue, X, Al Mega, you know, Alpha Sapphire, Moon, and Ultra Sun are the only games remaining I have not beaten yet. And of course, I can't do most of them since I'm doing a roleplay in some form. Unless... I do like a playthrough or a game on you, um, the computer, which I'm in the process of maybe doing in the future, but we'll have to wait and see on that. But hey, beat Red for the first time ever after 24 and a half years. Thank you, Firo. Man, you really destroyed Blue at first. That was incredible. That's the only time you had to battle? Thank you, Radicate. 
I think there's actually should be two co-MVPs for this. Radicate being a surprise one, but the other one, not Arbok, but you did a good job too. Very impressive, although it kind of under in some parts too. There is the other MVP. Radicate Executor, I think, should be the MVP. Both excel, especially when Executor swept Rourke. I mean, um, Bruno, that was incredible. Thank you, Machoke. Overachieved, too. I didn't think you were going to do as good as you did. A lot better than Graveler, I must say. Thank you, Jolteon. I believe that was... Every yeah, I think... Yeah, that's everyone. Very good. That was fun. I did that, like, in a few weeks. So if that beat Japanese Red for the first time ever. So I hope you all enjoyed this. See you guys next time as I got more Pokemon games to eventually beat in the future.